Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2022 and in this video I will show you how to use Analyze Entities and Analyze Distance. So let's get started. First of all, I have a rectangle made already in front of you guys just as an example. How to use the entities? You can just simply right click and you can see that the last two options are Analyze Distance and Analyze Entities. These two are pretty important when you have uh, specific dimensions or distance involved. So let's say if I want to measure a particular distance, unlike other drafting softwares like SolidWorks, CATIA or any other, it can be also AutoCAD, you can have the reference of, you can choose to give the dimensions and change dimensions whenever you want to, but in Mastercam and I'm pretty sure even in AutoCAD you cannot do so. So once you have entered a dimension and it becomes fixed. So it's you, you need to delete those entities and give them a new number or whatever the size that you want to. So it's really important to make sure that your entities are good as they go on while you are trying to make a wireframe or even a solid. So let's say I want to measure the distance between these two sides of this rectangle. I'm just going to click on analyze distance and I'm going to click on one side and on the other side. So you can see that the green point shows the positive side and the red shows, uh, sorry, the green shows the left side, the red shows the end point where it shows and you can see both 2D and 3D distances and it also gives you the angle. So a really important thing to notice is that once you have all these options you can easily change the dimension as well and also see how much do you have in millimeter or it's simply divide or multiply by 25.4 if you are doing a conversion from millimeter to inches. So that's uh, that's a standard. So the key things to note are it specify it specifically gives you all the x, y, and z coordinates with respect to the origin. So right now the rectangle that I have is about negative 3.7127 on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well. So the total distance is 7.4253 along the X similarly along the Y and we don't have any Z because I haven't specified any extrusion or any depth to the solid because it's just a wireframe for now so now I mean this is one way and also in further videos while I will be explaining how to make different tool paths I will show you how to use it in detail for now I'm just going to give you like a couple of examples where I generally use it and also some of the things that might be important for you. So analyze distance is covered, analyze pro entity properties. So if I click on a single line, it will give me all the things, ev almost everything that I have for that entity. Now it works differently for different entities. If you choose a, let's say a text box, then it will give you different options to choose and rewrite or um, edit or modify the text that you have chosen which is pretty common in A-frames if uh, A-frames are basically the title blocks which I will also be discovering and showing you in future videos like how can we edit those and that's really important in any company standard point of view so just like in this case, I showed you that what are the distance should be. Similarly, if you want to have the precision level, you, you can choose till what certain uh, decimal places do you want it to be to measure, and also analyze entities are hard to explain on 2D surfaces, even if you have a 3D. Let's say if I'm going to change this to a solid and I extrude it to 
a certain depth of let's say a couple of inches on the safe side I see the isometric so I have this so now if I click on analyze entity so now from this point to this my bad analyze distance you can do it from any point to any point vertically or even from point A to point all the points to points you can always analyze the distance from from this point let's say this point so I can see what's the distance covered is but for some reason sometimes it doesn't show any angle if that's the scenario you, you can all, uh, always use a drafting feature I will show you in other video how to uh, specifically use those drafting features when needed for now it's just good enough to know how and where we can get the access to analyze distance and uh, analyze properties and that is simply by right clicking and doing some basic conversions if you need or just verification while you're working with any sort of wireframes or simple solids in future videos I will let you know how to make them work in a long run and also the most complex one so stay in touch and please let me know in comment section what are your more needs that you would like me to post about in terms of Mastercam, SolidWorks or Cathia. So please don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye.